Welcome to Uli Science Shorts. Half and Handy's peaks are in the San Juan Range of the Colorado Rockies. Both are Colorado Centennials, only four miles apart as the crow flies. On the lower slopes of the mountains, you can see what appears to be glacier-like formations, but no visible ice. In fact, these are rock glaciers, or masses of rock, ice, and snow that move slowly down mountains under the influence of gravity. Rock glaciers differ from ice glaciers in that they have very little ice visible at the surface. Their motion is also very slow, only a few centimeters to meters per year. Contrast that with areas like the Kumbu Icefall of Mount Everest, that can move meters per day. Movement generally initiates an ice present in the lower parts of the rock glacier. When that ice moves, the rocks on the surface adjust to the movement, resulting in the flow features you see on the surface. Here is a cartoon illustration of an ice core rock glacier. This type forms when rock is deposited onto the surface of an established glacier, producing a blanket of rock on the surface, while a solid core of ice still exists at depth. This illustration shows an ice-cemented rock glacier. When ice and snow melt on the surface, the water infiltrates down through the rocks, then freezes at depth. This results in a mass of rocks that then gets cemented by the ice. You may be wondering, with increasing global temperatures, how do these glaciers survive at such low altitudes? In fact, the thicker the layer of rock and debris, the longer it takes to warm up from the sun, thus shielding the ice below from melting. <laughs>